everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm your Korean friend, Jisoo. In this video, I'm gonna tell you some great tips to learn Korean language easily. I know learning a language is not always happy and joyful because it's quite difficult to reach the level you'd be able to have a conversation with a native. As a native Korean, it was such a long journey to improve my English to this much, but through that way, I could get some knowledge about learning languages. For you, my friend, I'll give them all to you as my gift. Number one, the most important thing is to make it fun. Fun, fun, fun is the most important thing and I can't tell you this enough. So if you are a beginner, it should not be too much for you to handle it. So I want to recommend you to feed yourself a daily bread of Korean language day by day. To make it fun, it should be easy and casual first. So rather than 30 minute or an hour long videos, go find something shorter like 5 or 10 minute long so you can get it casually day by day. I'm making sure Korean language learning videos for you. So if you come to my channel, you'll find things that you can enjoy but also learn. Make it fun and casual. The most important thing is that you should enjoy because we all know it's a long-term project. Number two. Among all things, vocabulary is the basis of every language. The more vocabulary you know, the more you can understand and speak the language you want. So try to memorize five to ten new words day by day. There are some great applications that help you to learn and remember new words like Quizlet, Korean vocab Hangul Hero. I'll leave the link where you can download those apps on the description. If you find your smartphone way too tempting of distraction because it can lead you not to those apps but to SNS or YouTube, here's another way. Use sticky notes or your own little vocabulary journal. It's very effective if you can be exposed to the language you want to learn as much as possible. So stick the notes with the words every place your eyes could be on and try to match the words with the things you actually see. It's very helpful, like, let's say this is a sticky note. Put it on your phone and I just write it like smart, smart to phone. And maybe you will not be able to use the smartphone again, but you can learn the language. You can learn the vocabulary. <laughs> When I was little, there was a big vocabulary poster right in front of the toilet in my restroom and every time I had to use the toilet, my eyes kept staying on that poster. It actually helped me a lot to memorize the words on it while I was pooping. Yes. <laughs> Number three. I'm pretty sure most of you love K-dramas very much. And I guess it made you want to learn Korean language too. But you know what? Watching dramas is an amazing way to learn the language. I'm still watching American drama Friends, which I first watched 10 years ago. And now I can understand the lines without any subtitle. <laughs> <laughs> watching dramas in Korean will definitely help you to learn the accent, intonation, and phrases only if you watch them with dual subtitles. If you watch them through Netflix, Use the browser Chrome, and there's a program called Language Reactor. You can set the dual subtitles with Korean and your own language. While you watch dramas with the dual subtitles, you can understand the contents, but at the same time, get to learn new words and phrases. Take a note when you find something you want to memorize on the sticky notes or your vocabulary journal. You know, when you are a fan of someone, you want to be like that person, don't ya? Don't ya? I love Rachel, Monica, and Phoebe. And I really, really wanted to be able to talk like them. So from the short phrases to long ones, I try to repeat the phrases pretending that I was one of the characters in the show. No way! <laughs> My sandwich! My sandwich! Who do you want to be like? Sejong? Boyang? Teddy? Once you've got some input, you gotta make some outputs too. So you should keep the balance improving both your comprehending and expressing. Writing diaries is one of the greatest ways to practice making sentences. You can start from simple things in your daily lives to your own opinion about something serious like politics. What the f Ew. Forget about politics. Um, um, what about your own review on your recent k drama list? Huh? You not get tired of practicing if you keep doing it with the topic that you love. Number five, make Korean friends or a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Sorry, boys, I'm already in love with my boyfriend Teddy, so 
but still I can be your friends. And sorry girls, the Korean guys in K-dramas are living in your fantasy. So try being friends first with the native. Many many Koreans want to practice speaking English and they are looking for foreign friends. I think there are some apps like Hello Talk or Tandem, but I also heard that there are some frauds too. If you want to find someone near you, try using hashtag Hashtag search on Instagram in Korean. Currently, I'm in Bali, so type in Bali on Google Translator first and, and type in hashtag Bali or hashtag Kuta, then you can find me. Voila! Wanna be a friend? Follow me and leave a comment below my post. I'm not a DM person very much, but I'll be happy to be connected with you through the comments that you leave. Take me as your language buddy! I'm all yours! I hope these tips will help you to learn Korean easily and hope to see you again. Oh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see me more often. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye!